Okay, just to fill in on the MIG, the MIG, it should be flying across a P-51. And now I'll just be trying some metal finishes using pencil, graphite pencil. What you do is, you get a pencil, you mask off the area that you need to use, so I'll use a bit of tape. Here's my P-51 that's been being built. There it goes. Now what I'll do is use the tape, mask off the panel area carefully. Because what I want to do is create the feeling of a metal panel. I'll use something to rub that down. No, it's not straight. Yes it is. There's a pencil line there. Rub that down. Rub that down on the front face. Need a tissue. Just shave some graphite. Which looks very much like metal. If you look at a pencil, it's got that metallic sort of surface. So what I do is I make some um it up. Here's the white fuselage. So what I want to do is I want to get some metal finish on there. This is the view that it's going to have. Cant it over like that. But I want that panel around the exhaust to be metallic. So I'm just trying it out, I don't know. This is an experiment. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Let's take the exhausts out. I've glued them in, but they've just been tack glued, which means two drops of glue on the back. Just to have a look how they sit in there. Very important. I've noticed that this panel, like if you look at some of the reference I've got here, this panel is usually highly polished I think it could be stainless steel rather than aluminium. More durable, able to handle that heat. Grey, murky grey. Oh, I probably can't see it. Maybe if I just get it up there, just have a little look at it. This is just a temporary canopy to see the fit. Now, what I want is something that'll polish it. For a moment.
Let's use the polishing cloth a bit more. Super glue. So I use super glue, attach the exhaust, tack glue it. One. One. Two. Just put it back in there.
undercoat. Get it on your fingers.
interested in there. Clamp it. there into the clamp just let that sit seat backrest this is the seat
Okay, we're going to make um, we're going to make sure we get a pilot in here. I'm just going to draw him out because I've got to know what size he is. So I'll just put this back in for a second. So I know how big the current canopy is.
by Pilots Update. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about painting faces. Not my face, but this little guy here. So if you have a look at that, I'll get that right into camera. What you can see is we've started by laying down a coat of red. See that? Oh, it's just about as big as my face now. Get that over the top of me. Bad lighting, but it's just about my head. So what I'll do is I'll go down to the deep grooves of the face with the dark red. And then I'll put a couple of coats of um, skin tone over that. And then I'll put the highlights on. Okay, well, I'll just come back to you in a minute. And I'll start painting, okay? I'll just start um, laying out a palette, see if I can get the camera to focus on the palette. It's a right mess, isn't it? Have a look at it all. But I know where those colours go broadly. Um, I'll start by laying down some ochre skin. Ochre's good for a skin tone. It's a type of yellow. Need lots of white and lots of water. It's a recipe, how to cook skin. Well, we start with a bit of that. We've got some pink on the palette already, some dark red and some brown. Okay, let's give it a try. Bad brush. Bring my brushes over. We need lots of brushes. That's my chair creaking. Lots of white. You can't see anything, can you? You're just looking at a palette. Oh, well, look, we'll just start here. Got it? Okay, let's start over here. It's too much blue. Okay. Okay, get some ochre happening. Bit of pink. Ochre and pink. It's kind of an orange. See? It's pretty good. Lots of white. Oh, that's good. See how white that is? That's not good enough, so what I'll do is a bit more pink, a bit more ochre. My skin's quite brown. But when I say add some brown, can you see how little I'm putting in there? It's just like a spot. Otherwise it goes black. It's better. It's still too light. But it's a good flesh colour, even though it's not my flesh, it's a good flesh colour. You're not going to be able to see this, I know you're not. Little guy's head, oh good, he can. Lots of water. What you can see now is, I've put in some blue into the shadow areas. See under the cheekbones there, it's flaring a bit. Put in some blue under the eye sockets and under the cheekbone, just while the paint's wet. So it's not that he's got the blues, it's just like shadows are always cool tones, blues, greens, purples, browns, cool tones. And the highlights in the skin are much lighter. Now what I'll do is I'll put some yellow into the skin We'll have a look at it. He's pretty good, isn't he? Okay, well, let's just go on to the next thing. So seeing that face coming into form slowly, you might be able to see the balsa wood back. See that, how roughly carved he is? It won't matter, we're going to see him through the cockpit. Nice profile. See how I chopped the tip of his nose off? Nose job. You can actually see them, they look like blue stripes now. Under his eyes, the mouth's been opened. See the line along the helmet there? And I've actually shadowed in under the eyes. That will just help. It's a bit like theatre makeup. You're trying to make it a bit, a bit more dramatic than it is. And I'm going to put the white eyes in in a second. So we'll have a look at that in a second. I'll put them in. And you see what happens. You put the white in and put the lids over the top. Now there you go. The white's in. Dots for pupils. Put the eyelids in over the top in a second. See that sort of dotty look. Looks scared, doesn't he? Because there's something else coming in behind him. So I'll put the um, eyelids in over the top. Six minutes later, that's what we've got. 
eyeballs are in. That's the angle you'll probably end up seeing his head from. Some dark lines under the nose. Open mouth. Eyebrows, whoops, is flaring a bit. But he'll be looking like that. So he's starting to look pretty natural, isn't he? Now I'll do the helmet and I'll show you again once I've painted in the helmet and we've stuck the goggles on. There you go. Whoops, that's me. This is good because, you see that's my little finger, so you can see how big he is. It's like my little fingernail. Bite. Bite. Okay, here's our update. Here's our pilot. You can see I've got harnesses on him. He's sitting in the cockpit. He's got headphones on. But he's just a plug because when we turn him around to the other way, you can see the radio box behind. If I rotate that carefully, he's got his goggles on his head. They're about to be painted. You can see the first wash of paint over him. Now if I turn that around, you can see the front of the aircraft. It's turned head, and this is the attitude that it's going to have. See the armour plating behind him on the seat? And that's what you'll be seeing out of the cockpit. good isn't it? Um, I wanted to show you something, a, a colour test. Headphones, just paint those goggles in a minute. Here's the exhaust section where I rub the graphite in. I've since varnished that, you can see that varnish sheen along there. And I've varnished the propeller, but here's a colour test. I'll show you a colour test. The spinner. Hollowed out the tip. What I love about this is it's like when you turn it over, course it's still just the wood but have a look at this color test there's the wood and the plug let's get out of that a bit what I've done is I've tried to make this look like the aluminium surface of the aircraft but I've painted it so it's a bit hard with the sheen here but these exhausts I've just painted them on they're rendered flat so they're not they don't stick up I just wanted to get a feeling of the different colored panels which is what I love about the aluminium surface of aircraft. There's all these different coloured panels which are just wonderful. So see that effect? This is an anti-glare panel, that black bit. We'll put the cabin in soon. Pilot's there. So it's starting to get a real look to it, isn't it? Okay, we'll just finish those goggles. I like those headphones if you look at them up close. You can actually see they're painted with grey, black and white. The green colour of the seat, the harness is over the top. I just painted the harness buckles. You won't see them really. But I do like the idea that they're there. Love that rolling attitude. Whoa. Just moves. Lovely. Okay, we'll get back onto the goggles. Okay, so we've painted in the matte black anti-glare panel. That's so that the pilot doesn't get blinded by the reflection off the metal surfaces. See how it's matte? There's no sheen on it. Done the nose section. Now I've just fitted the proper cockpit using the, um, the scrap one as a pattern. It was handy to have a spare cockpit. This cockpit had a floor in it, look moulded that one. See the big crease there. 
but I used that while I cut it out I could use it as a pattern to make the new one so that was laid on top of the old canopy or the new canopy the better one I'll show you what I mean this is one that didn't work out see how it's got all the flash around it the flash is the area that you don't use this stuff out between the mold that stuff there but the general shapes there you can see it's got the general canopy shape using the one that didn't function well we put it over the top of that I clipped it over the top of the good one then I marked out with a marker the shape of the um, canopy that was good having the pattern made me allowed me to work out how the back of it would look see there and this one fits in a treat it fits in really really well so I'll be able to get a good view in that canopy because it's nice and clear. All I have to do is mask and paint the frame lines. It's the metal surface. I haven't painted it silver. I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do was get the feeling of um, a metal surface by rubbing and painting in. So um, get that kind of view. Don't know if we'll see that pilot. It's a shame because he's turned out wonderfully. Oh, it turned out very well. See how that canopy shines? It's going to be hard. Don't know how we're going to deal with that when we're photographing. I'd have to use diffusers, but there's a real look of um, there's a look of authenticity there. It's starting to look good. They really, really um, rock there. It'd be good if I had a neutral background. You could see this. Well, let's have a look. No plane is likely to be flying against a green sky, but still, let's give it a try. Get a green sky, and there's the plane. Kind of cool. I want front on somehow. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, so um, cockpit's in. I've got to glue it now. I'm just thinking about how to glue these points along here. I'll probably use silicon kit, push silicon kit in under the edge so it'll hold it, which is a clear type glue. And I'll put super glue along this edge because it'll glue quickly and I can hold it because if you can see it doesn't quite, oh, it's pretty good. There's a bit of a gap there, so I'll need something for it to hold it. Good canopy. Nice shot. Okay, so we'll just leave that. So it's going in leaps and bounds now. It's a silver finish. Guy's head. Shame we won't be seeing him more clearly. He's pretty good. Okay. Okay, um, here we go, we're looking at the cockpit wall, what I've done is I've glued the canopy in, like we were talking about, what you might notice is there's a, there's a cockpit wall on this side, that's clear, let me have a look, see this, this, is, a, this is a piece I moulded along here, and the canopy's been joined in behind there, but on the other side, there's no cockpit wall, let's just flip it over, I'll hold it a little more still. So what I've had to do is, can you see how I've put a bit of tape on there? What you notice is, I've cut the edge of the tape along there with a craft knife and peeled it away so that what I can do is I can paint the outside edge. And over here I've had to fill in a section. I've just filled in a section 
with filler to join in the old, the, the old piece. So what will happen is that masking line here will define the edge of the canopy. That's especially because when you look at it from this side, you can see straight through the canopy and you can see the cockpit wall on the other side. So I've got to make sure that there's a, a decent background there. This face is looking good. The matte black, you can see how it's not got no sheen on it whatsoever. So it's kind of looking good. Zooming past. Canopy sits in nicely. Okay, so I'll wait for the filler to dry here. What I'm waiting for is I've filled in the gap because there was a gap here. I'll be sanding there in a minute and then I'll paint the whole outside bit. Then I'll mask off the cabin lines here and paint those in. I won't paint them by hand because they won't look straight. Okay, what we've done is we've masked off the cabin frames here. See how the tape just curves over the top of the screen? Now what we're going to do is we're going to peel those off and have a look how they've turned out. They'll probably leak a bit. See how the tape's all fractured? But that's the only way you can get nice straight lines on those cabin frames. The only way I know anyway. There's our pilot. We've done the back of the thing. We'll put the last of the silver rendering on behind the cabin in a minute. There's our pilot. The cabin's turned out well. A bit rough, but we'll paint that. Okay, let's pull those off. Let's have a look. You can see here there's been a big leak right up onto the cabin glass. I'll have to wash that off quickly while the paint's still wet. The other side's really good, I think. It's very hard because it's such a curved surface. Now yeah, watch this crisp line. Love that. How much do you love that? Look at that line. Beautiful. Okay, let's try another one. They're not so good on the back. I think um, I couldn't rub them down. Have a look. Not nice. But there's a limit to how much you can push on such a fragile glass canopy. See me? Big leak there. It's all right. I'll wash them down straight away with water. Oh, that one didn't turn out. Um, you sort of get the idea there, don't you? It's like, it's pretty, pretty crisp. Let's try and get this one off. Try this one over here. get it. Okay, I just have to stop there because I can't hold it, but you get the idea, don't you? Now I'm going to have to peel those up, but you'll see that the framing will work really well. Okay, here we are, work in progress. What I've done is I've rendered most of the skin of the aircraft. And I've added some cabin lines there. See the cabin lines? And what I want to show you is how good the pilot's face is looking at the moment. It's a bit hard to rock, sorry about this. A bit hard to get that shot clear, but we're seeing the pilot really well. That's the sort of lighting I guess we're looking at. Over the top, nice canopy shot. And I want to show you the watercolour effects of the rendering. What I've done is I've thinned down the paint. So um, what you're seeing is not a silver paint job but washes of greys, light purples and greens. This is what I love about metal. Even the cabin lines there, can you see the um, cockpit lines? Whoops. Cockpit lines. There, they've been rendered to show highlights. And the guy in the canopy is looking great. Okay, so that's, um, that's our guy. I guess it's going to appear in shot something like that, but we can get right into that cockpit. You can actually see there's no bottom edge to it. 
some disappointments when I tried to dry off the cabin lines I painted the um, canopy look what's happened I dried it off with a hairdryer see how the cabins become all rippled I didn't realize how much tension that acetate was under as soon as I hit it with the hairdryer it just buckled like crazy thank God I'm taking the shot from this side anyway but yeah big disappointment because it was a perfect canopy and it was a hard thing to, to create so there we go here's our pilot Pretty good. Lovely metal panels with the rivets. See how I've done the rivets by poking into the soft balsa wood with a sharpened pencil. Rubbed a lot of stuff in there. Okay, we'll just leave it there, but that's a good start. Beautiful canopy.